He is the one that does not cover sins, and he removes it. Thus, John's words about Jesus Christ, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The Jews understood sin was not taken away. It was only covered, kofar. That's the word for their atonement, their Yom Kippur, the day of coverings. Now, there is no inbuilt power in animal blood. Voodoo and witchcraft may think so, but God has never thought so. In fact, the blood drops of Christ had no inbuilt power in them, in and of themselves, in this sense. The Roman soldiers, when they crucified him, no question, got blood, his blood on them. They did not, oh, I'm saved now. The blood touched me. There's no magical feature to the blood. We speak of the blood, we speak of his sacrifice, his will, his power. The blood is the emblem of that. Otherwise, we'd all have to get that blood sprinkled on us. It's spiritual. It's not physical. And there's nothing like it. The blood, when we say the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin, we mean what he has done and who he is and how he has done it. The blood of Jesus Christ and nothing else cleanses us from sin. And I hope I didn't lose you on that. Because there would be those who would, if they could have put the blood of Jesus Christ in a vial and sell it to you as a relic, they would. The Bible doesn't teach us that. 